We're at the bottom of the hill to talk with post-punk laptop rapper, MC Lars. Who is MC Lars? Oh, oh um, well, I'm one of those guys who likes, I like to write music, I mean lyrics, and I have so much to say that I like to um, put beats behind it. And I used to do rock music, but now I do rap music because it's more efficient in terms of time. Like in five seconds, you can say twice as much. Warner, you might hear me clearly. Universal music, take your circuitry. They see the little kids downloading hit songs. They think that makes sense when they know that it's wrong. You know what this one is? Call me, you're attractive. Call me, I like that shirt you wore that's a dashboard confessional. And we're at a rap show. <laughs> How do hip-hoppers absorb MC Lars? I think hip-hoppers are very confused by MC Lars because on a technical level I'm not like, you know, I'm not the Black Alicious or, or you know, not not to use that as an adjective. You're the White Alicious. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm not Gift of Gab from Black Alicious or I'm not, that's funny, or I'm not like the best, technically the best rapper and the beats kind of have a weird rock kind of feel so I think rap people are really confused by it and may be quick to dismiss it as whack, but if they sit down and like watch the videos a few times and like listen to what I'm saying and like read Edgar Allan Poe and then listen to like the laptop EP, they will see that I'm doing something that is awesome, if I may say so myself. Not to be arrogant, but just do something different that I really believe in. Check it out, I'm even wearing one of my favorite band's shirts. Well, probably the biggest charm about your music is that you do it yourself. And I'm wondering if this is a professional hobby or a lifelong profession? Uh, it's, it's like if I can pay the bills doing this, if I can keep paying the bills, then it will become a vocational thing. But I do want to go to graduate school eventually and keep doing this. So it's something that like I've, do, I've been doing in some form or another for like 13 years, but um, we'll keep doing it and see what happens, you know? We just wanted a level playing field. You've overcharged us for music for years, and now we're just trying to find a fair balance. I hate to say it, but welcome to the future. I really appreciate your time. Let's bring something back, that high five. Oh, wait, let's do the claw. Oh, God. Oh. That's right. Bay Area. Almag.com.